Hey folks, Dan Frio here. Uh, the Scrub Update for Thursday, February 11th, 2021. Uh, unemployment numbers came in worse than expected. So what your thought would be was the stock market would crash um, because of that uncertainty. Uh, and Chairman Powell came out yesterday. He's the Federal uh, Reserve Chairman. And he said there's a dismal outlook on the, uh, the economy and employment. So what do you think happened to the stock market? Don't go away, we'll find out here in a second. So would you think the stock market's up? Yeah, it is, go figure. So let's get into it. Uh, what's the market doing today? Well, let's see, headlines, 793,000 Americans fought unemployment for the week, for the week. Guys, I think a lot of times we just bypass this number and say, eh, that's a lot of people, but what? It's for a week. That's nuts. Uh, so your first thing you're thinking, well, the, the stock market would plummet. Well, S&P's up. The Dow's down not even one point. The NASDAQ's up 70, and the Russell 2000's up. How? Why? What? Where? Well, we go to what Chairman Powell said, Federal Chairman Powell said yesterday, and I apologize, I didn't post this as soon as it popped. Um, we're, dude, it's it's crazy busy here at the mortgage company, and I wanna just thank everybody for uh, for reaching out to me on a daily basis with all your mortgage needs. Uh, my, let me just tell you a little bit about me before we go on. My name is Dan Frio. I do the rate update every day. I'm a mortgage advisor, been doing it for 33 years. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a wealth advisor. I'm not telling you what to buy or giving you tips on what to buy in stock market or anything. It's a, basically what I'm doing is showing you what I am personally doing in my life. This is for educational and entertainment purposes. So that's my legal description of the day. So let's go on to what's going on in the markets. So what I do on a, on a daily basis, I watch what's going on with mortgage rates, the mortgage trends, and all this other stuff. So this is what I do. I follow the uh, MBS market. If you're interested in that, follow me every every night. I do the, the rate update with Dan Frio and tell you what's going on with mortgage rates. Um, and also we, we track the bond market and employment and other things on that channel. So I can give you kind of a prediction where the housing market's going, the real estate markets are going and where interest rates are going. So that's why I'm in tune with all the markets. So you go to all these things and you say, okay, employment's bad. Uh, you know, everything else is bad. So why is everything moving up? Well, stimulus, 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 and low rates. So the Fed basically came out because of all this saying, guys, we're, we really have no, no plans on raising rates anytime soon. So because of that, because the rates all over all other, other government or, or secured investments, such as bonds and everything, since the interest rates are so low, like your, what's your savings account? How much, are, how much you know, return are you getting on your savings account? 0. 0.0001, inflation, let's say inflation's one, to where the, the Fed wants it to be. If, you're, if, you, if your dollar is deteriorating by 2% a year, but you have it in your bank account earning 0.0001, you're losing purchasing power. So hopefully you get that. Even though if you hold that dollar and you're like, I'll put it in my mattress, every if you held that, that in your mattress for 10 years and brought it out, you probably couldn't even buy a candy bar well, you probably can't today, but you're not nowhere gonna be able to buy a candy bar 10 years from now because the value deteriorates in value. So how do you protect the value of your dollar? Well, you try to outrun the earnings, so you buy stocks, and what a lot of companies are doing right now, they're buying crypto, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. I have a special guest coming on tomorrow to kind of dive into this, and we're gonna do it on a weekly basis, and uh, he's an expert in the crypto, crypt cryptocurrency uh, markets and he's going to start teaching you teaching us on Fridays so that's what's going on with that um, so basically it is what the Fed is doing and what the government is doing to stimulate the markets by just pumping a ton of money into the systems plus believe it or not a lot of earnings are coming out that are very good so the stock market's doing really well um, 
Then we go over, let's see what this is, wheat stocks tank giving up pre-market gains. Okay, so I, I've been jumping into the, the, the cannabis field. I'm gonna address this right now. It's had a huge run since the election. It, you know, most of these stocks have doubled, so now they're giving up some gains. So if you're ahead of the game there, I'm still a long-term investor. Um, I'm adding to my positions in the cannabis industry. So that's I'm just taking this headline here. But let's go to the watch list that we watch on a daily basis. And you can see at the top, you know, I, I hold positions in Google, Amazon, Apple, you know, all the core stocks, Ford, that you would think would do well. Okay, you go through this and see, well, they're not doing too well. You know, they're down, down, down for today. You know, overall, the returns are there. What's doing well? Again, well, we get back down to my crypto uh, holdings. Bitcoin is up 7% today. Ethereum holdings is up 6% today. You go down to other pieces of this industry, which is blockchain. Blockchain is up 3 uh, you go to Marathon Patent, it's up eight. You go to PayPal, up five. You go to, let's see, Riot. Riot is a blockchain uh, business, it's up 15. Okay, guys, here's the cannabis plays though that I, I hold in my positions um, is Sundial, it's down 22. I'm in at this at like 50 cents, okay? Um, I, I did add to my positions in this in this field over the last couple days, uh, alpha, alpha is down 31%, getting clobbered. I got in uh, this week on that, so I'm a little bit late to the game there. I still think it's a long-term investment. Canopy growth, down 21. These, these stocks are getting hammered. People are taking profits. Long-term, I mean, as the states continue to, to uh, legalize marijuana, these companies are either going to get bigger or they're going to get swallowed up by bigger companies. So that's my play right there. I'm still a huge crypto fan. I know every day it hits a record high, but I just added to my Bitcoin collection today or holdings today. I didn't want to wait till tomorrow because there's a run. Uh, so I moved my Friday um, dollar cost averaging to today. Maybe I shouldn't do that. You guys might yell at me down below, but it's what I did. Uh, so because I think you know they're they're teetering on Apple might invest, uh, start investing their their money into Bitcoin and so forth. So Bitcoin is that that hedge against the deflation of the dollar. Ethereum is the platform that all these trades take take a take place on. So I'm using this as a combo uh, to buy my Cryptcoin. Trip, uh, cryptocurrencies. Let's see what the crypt, trip, crypto, sorry, my tongue's tied today, that the cryptocurrencies are doing today. Bitcoin is up 7% in the last 24 hours, 30% in the last seven days. Then you can go down through. Cardano is the one I spoke about. We're going to speak about tomorrow. It's up 20% today, 125% over the last week. And Polkadot's the other area that I was looking at. I will jump into uh, Binance coins. I don't I don't know this one, so I'll be completely transparent with you guys on that one. I don't know what's what this one is. Uh, but I follow Polkadot, XRP, and Cardano. We're going to go over tomorrow. Those are the alt, you'll, you'll hear a phrase altcoins. And these are the positions that people are holding on those. So we're going to learn a lot about those tomorrow. But the positions I hold are in Ethereum and Bitcoin. Okay, so that's that part of the cryptocurrencies. Uh, what's the dollar doing? The assumption would be an employment's terrible, the Fed's printing printing money, the government's giving away money and uh, causing inflation, so the dollar should be down. What's the dollar doing? Well, holy moly, it's up. Not up much, but it's up. Uh, we, we, if you look at um, the trend and where I thought we should be, we should be hitting this black line. And like I said yesterday, we trickled below it. That was my call for the last uh, two days. When we were up here, I said, guys, we should be trading at the line. Um, and we hit that yesterday and we were down below it and we're, we're teetering back up a little bit. So as long as we teeter on this line, I'm cool with things there. Um, and then here, I won't go into details with the, the housing market and bonds. If you want to learn more about those in detail, please uh, watch my videos every every night. I post right, right at the end of the, each business day to give you the conclusion of the day, what the trends are going into tomorrow, the rest of the week, and the rest of the, you know, for a couple weeks. It's hard to point out what's going to happen a month, two, three months down the road. It really is. Though your weatherman can't even figure out what's going to happen this weekend, but I try and do as much research as I can to help you guys out in all of these areas. So one-stop shop, I would say, 
tune in every day. I try my darndest to post this every morning so you guys know what's going on in the markets. So take care. God bless. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so every time I post a video, you get an alert. Take care, guys. See you around four. Bye-bye.